My name is Drew Heemstra and I work for the Industrial Systems Group here at Durst Systems in North America. So we're bringing you these tech tips. Uh, it's a new video series we're coming out with, bringing you some of the common issues we see in the industry from customers, trying to help you out with paint process related issues that you may be experiencing. Today we're going to be talking about pot life. What is pot life? Why is it important? So pot life applies to any coating system re requiring multiple components and those components when mixed together cure through a chemical reaction. This is important and all painters should have a basic understanding of what actually happens when you mix those pearl components together because there's a lot of underlying things that happen and can cause issues in your paint process. So some of the most commonly used coatings in general industry that require or have a pot life specification would be epoxies and urethanes. Typically they're 2K or 3K coatings. So what's that mean? 2K means two components. Um, a common ratio that you'll see out of a 2K material would be a one-to-one -one mix, which means one part A, one part B, or one part resin, one part catalyst. There's also 3K coatings. Those would be a resin, a catalyst, and a reducer, typically. The way that pot life is calculated is the amount of time it takes for the viscosity to double once mixed. So what actually happens when those chemical components are mixed? So the molecules make contact and they start a reaction. We call this cross-linking. So what that's giving you is quicker dry times, harder, more durable coatings, things like that. When you mix those two coatings together, they generate heat. A lot of things revolve around that. So we're trying to paint as much on the front end of our pot life as possible. A lot of times we'll employ mixing solutions such as a 2K mixing machine where we're mixing materials directly into the line out to the spray gun making sure we're working on the front end of that pot life. This also helps lower some of the heat. We're not giving that material time to generate a lot of heat. When you're mixing into a pressure tank that's a sealed vessel, there's a chemical reaction going on, you have an agitator spinning which is shearing and also generating heat, you can build up quite a bit of heat inside that tank just from the chemical reaction. And the reason that heat is important is because as a coating goes through its pot life, that specification was written at an ambient temperature. It could be different based on your coatings, but it's usually listed in your tech data sheet or your TDS from your paint manufacturer. Typically, it's somewhere around 25 degrees Celsius is where that pot life is calculated at. But you'll have to refer to your individual TDS sheet for that calculated temperature. But the reason that heat is important is because a 10 degree increase in temperature can actually cause your pot life to be cut in half or up to in half. So as your pot life is expiring over time, your viscosity is slowly climbing. So if you're spraying a very large part with a pre-mixed material, you may experience a different sprayability look, settings arrangement here than you would here, which is where we're always trying to work on the front end of this pot life. But as you increase temperature, that curve starts to look more like this. So temperature is really important. And we see that a lot as we come into this summer part of the year that we're not really thinking about pot life and temperature. Um, this can cause a lot of coating failures, such as delamination, gritty seediness appearance in, in the finish, poor gloss, poor flow properties. Um, Exceeding pot life can sometimes cause you poor chemical resistance or wrinkling of underlying coatings such as a primer wrinkling underneath of a top coat. One of the common fallacies that I see in the industry is that as that viscosity increases, we just add reducer so it's sprayable for longer, giving us longer pot life. That's not really the case. Your pot life is what it is. It's the chemical reaction. Adding reducer doesn't necessarily slow that down. It just makes it sprayable for longer. So we're going to be continuing to bring you some of these topics. If you have any suggestions, please place them in the comments or get a hold of us here at Durst Systems. We'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.